With New Year's here and parties going on, parents have been singing their questions to me in anything but a monotone about whether or not their children or teenagers are going to get mono, otherwise known as the kissing disease, during the New Year's season. So let me provide some information on this particular topic. Mono is short for mononucleosis, an illness caused by a virus called the Epstein-Barr virus, or EBV, from the same family of viruses as the chickenpox virus and viruses that cause cold sores. So what is it? It's an illness that affects the glands or the lymph nodes, the throat, the liver, the spleen, and the blood, and makes your child or teenager feel very tired, not just for a few days, but usually for a number of weeks. How do you get mono? Well, here's where New Year's comes in because you get it by sharing saliva from the person who has the virus. Hence, it's gotten the name the kissing disease. But interestingly enough, your child or teen can get mono without kissing someone else, whether it's New Year's or any other time of year. They can share saliva by perhaps being in close quarters by sharing a pillow together or even sipping a beverage through the same straw or sharing an eating utensil as they eat food off the same plate. In fact, it turns out that when people get mono, they're not symptomatic for a week or two, so they may be passing this germ and not even knowing it. How do you know if you have mononucleosis? Well, once you start to feel the symptoms, you'll get a sore throat, swollen glands, enlarged liver, enlarged spleen, and as I said, you're going to feel tired probably for about six to eight weeks. If your child plays a team sport, well, needless to say, you've got to bench them from that sport because any contact to the belly where the spleen is enlarged could cause rupture of that spleen. So what do I recommend for a child who has mono or a teenager or an adult? You simply need to rest and stay hydrated. Parents, you can give ibuprofen or acetaminophen for those fevers and muscle aches. The bottom line is, is that mono gets better with tincture of time. It takes a while, but once you've had it, it doesn't come back. So that hopefully tips like this will monopolize or monopolize your attention when it comes to knowing a little bit more about what to do if you think your child or teenager has mono. This is pediatrician Dr. Lewis First from Vermont Children's Hospital Fletcher Allen wishing everybody a happy new year and reminding you to always be first with your kids.